So next what we're going to do is to get rid of lumps or unbroken up material. And so you can have a look here. We have some carbamazepine, which typically does not go very well uh, without being grinded. So we have some in here and over here we're going to wet it with a little bit of propylene glycol. We'll come back here, put a lid on it. Scale here, 56, 2,000 revolutions per minute. This will only be for a few seconds that we do this. So we're wetting the material before we actually put in the base. roughly uh, 30 seconds. We're going to have a look at this now. So you can see, still pretty grainy. Okay. I'm going to put in a little bit of our base. Put the top on it again. Reweigh it. Resume that at 2,000 revolutions per minute for 20, 30 seconds. And when this comes out, it's still going to have the grains in it because there's nothing in there to really break it down. What we're going to use now, over here, this is an ointment mill, and it runs it through here, and then it runs it through these. So the space between here and here is always smaller than the space between here and here. So I'm going to take this out and we'll have a look at it again. So you can see in there the uh, you can see those white marks are still in there. So we're going to have to make those smaller. Okay, so I will scoop that out. And put this on our roller. Almost none. So what we'll do now is we'll make the space between those back rollers a little bit smaller. And I will just scoop that up again. Run it through.
Now we're going to use an electronic mortar and pestle to blend that all together. So we'll put a bottom in there. Put this in. Take out our small blade. Put that on. And we're going to come over to this contraption. And this will spin that blade inside for a couple of minutes. So typically two minutes is all we need for that, but we'll take that out just to have a look at it again. Now have a look on that. We'll see. Very much smoother. I can't see any particles at all. So to put that kind of a cream, which could be a pain cream, To our container. And that's how we make a pain cream, except it may have a lot more ingredients in it than that. that off. Put the top on it. We'll just prime all the air out of it. So that when the patient gets it, cream is right to the top. There it is now. Good to go. We put a label on it and the pink cream is ready.